straight into a communist prison. It's closed off by a barrier. Well, that's not gonna stop me. Oh, your man caught me completely out of breath. Okay, I'm in the wrong hotel again. Two hotels. All right, so it looks like it was queuing up for the wrong bus, I think. So here's a more, a more modern bus for number 22. Going Pete Tong. Let me try this again. Okay, I uh, WeChat and Alipay didn't seem to work. I don't know why. I can pay with the uh, cash or. I, I don't know what's happening. I'm just gonna sit down. We're on the bus. Sitting in the front, I might move to the back because I feel very awkward with this bag like this. Look at that. All right. Well, that was very confusing. I have no idea if I paid, if I didn't pay, if I paid multiple times. I'm just like sitting here waiting for him to shout at me or for the police. Come on and say, get the hell off. You didn't pay straight into a communist prison. <laughs> Two yuan, I'll pay it. <laughs> it looks like you can rent them. Oh yes. I'm gonna try to scan that later on and see if I can actually rent it. So each one comes equipped with <laughs> one of those toy mining helmets, you know, the ones they used to get when you were a kid. It'll do as much protection as a paper bag. This is the former president's residence site of the Xi'an in Guilin during the anti-Japanese war because of course in Guilin the Japanese occupied it for a, about a year before they were kicked out by the Chinese during World War II in 1944 to 1945. The Japanese took over, of course, a lot of the, the east coast of China during the war and they committed some terrible war atrocities which, of course, they were sentenced to several war crimes for. So it's really interesting to see straight away you've got some piece of history commemorating that war. Here we have a, an attractive Chinese man selling the best ore. We have bread, bread slices. That, that seems to be a thing. That seems to be a thing. Look, there's more bread here. It's just bread slices in little packets. 80% something. Honey butter flavor. Oh, I don't know if you've ever tried honey butter crisps, just normal crisps, but they are easily the best crisps on the planet. Easily, and you can only get them in certain places. I have never seen them in Europe. So, yes, we're getting a packet of those. What flavor is that? This blueberry cheese. You have the yogurt cheese. I'm gonna try the let's try the blueberry cheese. I'm gonna put it in my little pile over here that I'm starting. Shouldn't have come in here. What is this? Tasty sounds. Okay, it's got a warning on it. So let's try uh, let's try some tasty sounds as well. Niho. Huh? Nothing. Yep. And I'm gonna take these too. You can do one more. She was laughing at that. But it's interesting that this area is uh, it's closed off by a barrier. Well, that's not going to stop me. More than coffee. Maybe we can have a maybe we can have a quick coffee actually. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can I have a coffee, please? Just black, regular. Never coffee. I'm going to interrupt these people having a little party but I want to see what's in my goodie bag. Oh, what a nice little surprise this was. What else do they have? They have... Uh, you can have pineapple, cappuccino, espresso. You can have a dirty coffee. Oh, I don't know what a dirty coffee is. It's a blueberry cheese too. Oh. It smells like blueberries. Surprisingly. 
，后面护发可能你要维持，你一般是我要的，哦，那这。It's chewy like chewing gum. I've never ever ever had cheese like that before. Guilin and the anti-Japanese war gathered a galaxy of intellectuals and enjoyed cultural prosperity. A galaxy of intellectuals. Guilin, the home of the intellectual. I think, I think they're called lychee. Oh, what? Oh, all right. Before we go to the hotel, we're gonna check out this place. It's like a street market. It looks like the leaf of a palm tree that's just been uh, shredded to make it into a bit of a, a broom. We have other, oh, look at this, look at the size of this. Oh, all the sweets. What? Oh, let's get some sweets here. Today's just gonna be a little bit of a goodies day. Looks like people get baskets. All right, let's 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 do as the locals do. Let's get a little bit of a basket. There's a lot more sweets around here. So you take, you wanna follow that gentleman's guide over there, you take a basket and then you fill it up with all these sweets and goodies. I'm not gonna fill up with too much, but let's go back around this side. I didn't see half of it. Look at this. Oh, we gotta take a, uh, a chocolate coin. I'm a little bit partial to a chocolate coin. Sesame crackers. I'm gonna go for stuff that I don't really know apart from the chocolate coin. I don't know what that is. It looks like chocolate. We're about to find out. What is this? A little chocolate thing? Okay, let's try that. No idea. This market is massive, by the way, so I don't know how long this is gonna be, but it's, it goes way, way in. All right, I assume all of this is just the one shop, so I'm gonna pick from all of these things. What's that? There's a dragon. No, it's seaweed. Thankfully, there's not many people here because otherwise I'll just go bananas. What is that? That's a croak hat. It's Russian. Okay, so we've got some Russian sweets here as well. The seaweed rice cake. Yeah, you know what? We'll try a little seaweed rice cake, why not? Sure. I don't know how much this is gonna cost me. I hope I can pay with Alipay as well because I don't fancy putting all this back. What is this? It's a corn on the cob. With butter. Maybe it's just butter for the corn on the cob, but into the basket it goes. Oh, there's, there's more. Okay. We have whatever this is. What is that? It was once a cow. Here we have some, um, I have limits. I think it's mushrooms. Oh my God, I, I, I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Why did I come here? Let's see if we can uh, buy these from her. Hello, Neo. Uh, locals go first, which is okay. Daisies, I think. Dried daisies. Maybe it's a daisy tea you can make. So the locals are finished, and now it's going to be uh, going to start calculating my my amount. I'm expecting thousands. Who knows? Thirteen. Thirteen point three. Thirteen point. It's okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's uh, carry on to the rest of the market tour. So this must be the live animal market. We have some roosters. We have some pigeons. Ah. Not too happy ducks, of course. We have a lot of slaughtered animals. It must be the, the market where they have food, and fresh food, to slaughter the animals. So you buy your chicken here, or you buy your, your very cute bunny rabbit, and then they, uh, they slaughter it for you. So here we have all the different types of chicken, but they use all the different parts. So they have the head as a piece, the foot as a piece, Whereas in the West, it's not the same. A lot of the food is thrown out or made into chicken nuggets. And then you don't know. There's lots and lots and lots of eggs. The staff here just have an iPad and they're watching a series. Of course, if you're not selling, why not? Here we have uh, lots of meats. It seems to be a common thing. Maybe it's a selling point to have the heads of the animals drove draped over the side of the 
the slaughter table. Just so many meat, different meat stands. And I think we're heading towards the end of the, the market, the random market that I didn't expect to be in. Yeah, so that's it. We got some, oh, look at the blue, blue eggs. Blue egg, is that duck? Okay, I don't know where I am now, but we're out of the market. And uh, unless it continues somewhere else, maybe it continues over here? No, no, I think that's it. Okay, so what happened there was <laughs> I ended up in the wrong hotel twice. Uh, the first time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the wrong hotel again. I'll ask them to pick you up. Oh, okay. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Okay, shit. Mm. Okay, I'm in the wrong hotel again. Two hotels. Apparently the the, the staff here are going to organize for the hotel to actually come and pick me up because I've just been lost for like 30 minutes now. Oh. Oh, thank you. Shit. Okay, so I got some tea while I'm waiting. How nice is that? All right, so I've been uh, picked up from this hotel to go to the next one, but I honestly don't know how far it is now. Now I'm questioning. Is it far to the hotel or? Uh, about 100 meters. Oh, super close. Uh, oh, okay. Close. Look at this. This restaurant here. Maybe we go here later. Boiling uh, red noodles. Red noodles. Yes. Okay. Very uh, local food. Oh, okay, okay. This is the boiling red noodles. Oh, okay. The red, red, uh, red noodle. Rice noodles. Rice yeah. noodles. Okay. Local food in Guilin. Okay, definitely. I'll try. We have a, next to the Apple Store. We have a an app store which is uh, <laughs> a little bit different <laughs> wow i can't believe this uh, service i was so far away from the hotel and this uh what's your name sorry um zuo qianyu zuo qianyu yes my okay. chinese name is zuo qianyu zuo qianyu okay <laughs> she uh she kindly came and picked me up from way way over there this? where is uh Ah, here we have the hotel, okay. Can I add hours? Oh, okay, okay, to talk, okay. Yeah. I'm getting new friends on WeChat. It's free, you can take it to your room. Oh, wow, okay. What is the, what is the kangaroo? Uh, Nuan Baba. It is Chinese name Nuan Baba. You can uh, add it to your body. You oh, for, for warm? Uh, for warm. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> What what does the robot do? You can blend the white mic. You send the white mic to customer. Oh, like, uh, delivery. Oh, okay, it it's delivers. Con it's conscience. Oh wow. Does he have a he or she have a name? Bao Bao. Bao Bao. <laughs> Baby. Baby. <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> Bao Bao the robot. Um, your room is here. Okay. The fourth floor, but the rooms start with number eight, which is confusing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess that up later. This is water and uh, color is free. Oh, nice. Okay, water excellent. Is free. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, let me fight. Give you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you. You walked so far, so you're very nice. <laughs> I can speak. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Very good English. Wish you have a good time. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, bye. Right. bye bye. Thank you. Wow, where would you ever get service like that? This check in process has been, it's gone from crazy to, uh, to just so positive. Let's take a quick look at the room then to finish this off. We have a shaver. 
dental kits. And here we have some Walsh. Walsh industrial looking cream. It's kind of out of place. We have a massive, massive mirror. Wow, here we have the the water closet. Which doesn't have a... It doesn't... I heard about this. It doesn't... It doesn't close fully. We have another mirror here for that, that cool inception look. And we have the shower. Wow, oh, the shower looks amazing. Oh my God. I, I wish I booked this place for more nights. I'm only here tonight. I don't know how I'm going to check this for bed bugs, but I don't think I even need to, to be honest. The hotel is so... What was that? No. The hotel is just so well run. We have a TV. I'm going to try to turn that on later on and see, see what's on Chinese TV. It's a no smoking room, but still they give you, they give you a, a small little ashtray. Anyway, that's been the check-in for the hotel in Guilin. It's been a, oh, you also get some earplugs too, and a little speaker, a little Bluetooth speaker. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. Fantastic. For now, I'm maybe going to take a bit of a nap and relax. It's been a, oh, it's been a long day. Ni hao. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Kranhöle. I think we're going all the way up there. We're going to see if we can climb all the way up to the top. I think, because apparently it's got a fantastic view. And I've brought some of the snacks that I, I think it closes in an hour. Like everything, I'm always here like an hour or 30 minutes before the place closes. Uh, I spent ages trying to get one of the mopeds. You have to scan your face and scan your passport and everything. And I did it for about 30 minutes and it kept getting rejected. So couldn't do that. But anyway, we're here now. Here's the mountaineering channel. Wow, this is so pretty. Mia? Oh, this way? Oh, okay. All to the top? Okay, good view. Oh, okay, did it. Yeah, yeah. All the way this way. Oh, okay. Xiji, Sajan. Here's the awkwardness where I can't go back that way because there's the bathroom back that way. And uh, your man made an effort there to tell me to go up this way. <laughs> oh, I think the restrooms are down here. Maybe. I found the bathroom. Okay, I'll see you on the way back up. Oh, your man caught me completely out of breath. <sighs> Looks like it's going to be the, the day of stairs. This sign here says no stopping. <sighs> Look, lads. I might not have choice. <sighs> Why am I? Why am I out of breath? This is terrible. Oh, look at this. Oh, what the? It's a whole cave. Oh, it has a name. It's called the Wind Tunnel. So imposing. So large. And who's this? Oh, the music is very nice. Big Buddhas. In case you didn't notice, I call everything a Buddha, even when it's not. This one definitely is a Buddha, so I'm gonna, gonna rub his belly for good luck. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I can tell why it's called the wind tunnel, because there was a lot of wind as you go through it. We're at this peak now. This point, that peak is, I think that one over there. And the main one with the pagoda is here. 
but that doesn't look as tall in real life as that one over there. But anyway, maybe it goes on back behind this that I can't see. Wow, look at the view already. We have the karst mountaintops over there. Some being chipped away for new construction. I feel like we're getting near the top. Wow. Wow. Yeah, 360 view of all the Guaylin. We have the river. Oh God, that looks so nice. Imagine swimming in there in the summer day. Not thinking about the potential pollution that's in it. <laughs> so now that we're here, let's try some Chinese sweets. What a perfect way to eat some goodies. Okay. Let's see what we have in this bag. It's like a sesame puff. Chewy marshmallow thing. It's like binding, binding into a, a marshmallow version of a Rice Krispie. All right, next we have this. This is a mystery, this one. I have no idea. But let's see. Uh, I think it's coconut or something. I think it's coconut and oats. Oh, and uh, peanuts as well. Oh, that's delicious. This building just says attracting investment it's amazing to see all the mountains all the way around all over there all way back there way back there and these ones here and then they've turned this into a, a natural viewing platform which is fantastic Pagodas, they're called uh, Sun and Moon, I think, or Sun and Star and Moon, I can't remember. But we're here at these very famous pagodas. The sun is setting, it's getting a little bit darker, so they light up at night as well, which makes them all very pretty and nice. So here we have the park, it's called the Sha Lake. We have the, okay, Sun and Moon Towers, there we go. Oh wow, this is a... Uh, so it's 35 yuan, which is about, I think it's five euros, five dollars. Oh, look at the, uh, so this, this must be the moon pagoda. It's a little bit more blue, more white though at the moment, but maybe later on it turns a bit more bluish. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. These little lanterns. Oh, they move. Hey. We have these two statues playing, uh, they're playing table tennis. I think, <laughs> or are they miniature warriors? I don't know. The way that this this is done here, it looks almost Egyptian. Oh, we have all the different animals. We have a mouse. We have a water boar. We have a dragon. We have a rabbit. Poor rabbits. Poor rabbits today in the market. We have another dragon. We have a snake. A pony. A ram. I'm gonna name all the animals for you. We have a monkey, we have a rooster. I'm hoping I can get them all. We have a, what is that? That's a dog, that has to be a dog. And then the last one is a, it's a pig. On top of a, for some reason he's got something special. He has a corn on the cob. The moon pagoda. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Let's see if we can go inside and maybe even go to the top.
Oh wow. Oh, look at this. Hey. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, it's windy. Oh, it's cold up here. Okay. That's really nice. We have all these different prayers or well wishes. All these different cards. Maybe for New Year's, maybe they're always here. But there's no one here. So it's quiet. And I don't feel embarrassed to talk. Oh, oh. Oh, this is very nice. We'll take a look over the other side and then we'll we'll head on back down and then we'll go up the sun. The sun uh, pavilion. Pagoda, I should say. That's where we came from. So we walked this little walkway here to get in. All right, let's head on. Oh, this is a tight tour. Oh, look at the, I didn't even see. Too busy sometimes looking at certain things, but I didn't even see the lantern here, the light and the roof, the way it's carved. This is the Sun Tower dungeon, apparently. Don't worry, I'm not gonna read out all the animals again. Neo. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> all right, let's go upstairs. I think it's six floors. This looks like it's a restaurant. Or maybe you have to take the elevator. Okay. Or not. Nothing goes straight forward sometimes. Anyway, we have this really nice view here of the Moon Pagoda, at least. Look at that, with the gorgeous colors around the, the lake all lit up. Wow. We have people on the other side looking over at me, waving. Okay, they're not waving. It's all in my imagination. Nobody waves for me. It's a weak hit. But, uh, but I didn't pray, so it's like a half one, you know? Just in case butter comes after me. I came downstairs and then Actually, <laughs> there's the elevator upstairs, but I have no idea what that said. Elevator two to six floors non-stop. I thought you'd take it from the second floor, but actually what it seems to be is you take it from here, from the first floor, and then it goes up to the top. So let's take the elevator up to the top with the last battery that we have on the camera, see what the view looks like, and then finish from there. Yeah, no, nope, tip tips loud. Well, there's another set of stairs. Let's go up here. In case you weren't already aware, you were on the stairs. Oh, oh what was that? Ah, that's what I get for talking, and it says no talking in front of the Dalai Lama. Ow, alright. That's properly like. That's jutting out a bit. Okay, let's go down the stairs. Let's take a look at the view. Ni hao. Hello. 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 <laughs> nice to see you here. Yeah, you too, you too. <laughs> Everybody's so lovely. Ah, oh, just puts a massive smile on your face, you know? All right, so here, here we are with the Moon Pagoda. And we're going to end it here with the beautiful view that we had over that side, looking over this way. And now we've come full circle and now we're looking back on ourselves. Maybe we're looking back in time as we're looking back on this video. I don't know. I feel like I want to get poetic looking at this beautiful, beautiful building. 
but I'm not the right person to get poetic, so I'll spare you that drama.